today was cardio day and I did 103 flights of stairs. Oh, I need a shower though, so I'll be back. Also look how cute the outfit is. I don't know why I'm procrastinating. <laughs> I should get in the shower, all right. We'll talk again. I'm pretty proud of myself because lately I've been doing really well at the gym. For the past, mm, I would say two months, I've been doing really, really well and I've been super consistent. So I'm very proud of myself. But I found that I'm the type of person who needs to work out in the morning. I cannot work out in the afternoon. I feel like if you work out in the morning, especially if it's really, really early. You do it so early that you completely forget about it. You get it out of the way before anything really starts and then you don't have to worry about it. And that mindset has really been helping me stay consistent. I feel like I have way more energy and strength when I work out too. So I'm really happy that I've gotten back because I've always been really off and on. Like I would start for a while, do it for a bit and then I would get tired and then I'd miss like two weeks and then try again and it was just always fluctuating like that. But for the past two months, I've been pretty consistent. I'm pretty proud of that. Ooh, brows came out good today. That's a sign of a good day. Also recently I've been doing the dermaplating and it's helped so much. I feel like my makeup lays so much better. Also hack for the girlies. Whenever I don't have time to clean my makeup brushes, I use these. They're just the little beauty blenders from Amazon and they're disposable. So whenever I don't have time to clean my makeup brushes, I just use these instead of risking acne. Is it lazy? Yes, but it works. My goal today is to get a lot of studying done. I wanna spend from 10 to 3, 3.30 at the library today and it's not going to be just me working you're going to be studying too i know it's summer but there's still time to get a lot of things done if you have school in the fall you can prepare for your classes you know we can be productive just because it's summer we can have fun during the summer too but it's also important to stay productive my goal today is to finish the genki textbook in japanese <coughs> and then do flashcards all day because I feel like I've got the grammar pretty much down. My only problem is I don't have enough vernacular to actually use what I know. You like those big words, don't you? I've been reading. For a no makeup makeup look, this takes a lot of effort. My favorite part is the blush. I feel like it pulls everything together. I like mine high on my cheekbone. I never get it even though, what the heck? I know most people are over the Rare Beauty blush hype, but I'm not. It's still so pretty to me. Like it just gives you a natural flush. You love to see it. But because it comes off a little bit light sometimes, I always go in with a powder blush. This is the Orgasm X. It's Brown Girl approved. It's the orangey one, like this. But it's so pigmented, I just have to dab it a little bit. Take off the excess and bam, we got some more color, y'all. Alrighty, y'all. Then last but not least, we set our under eyes. Look at me acting like I know what I'm doing. All right, and we're done. I'll put on lip gloss after breakfast. New coffee machine. I literally eat the same breakfast every single day. All it is is scrambled eggs, toast, and some type of fruit. With my eggs, all I put in is pepper and cayenne pepper. Because when I bite my food, I want it to bite me back. I, everything needs to be spicy. I put cayenne pepper in literally everything. I think it's so good. And I try to stay away from salt, so the cayenne pepper like adds a little bit more flavor. You know what I mean? Maybe it's the tears from the spiciness. I don't know, but I like it. 
I was gonna add an avocado today because sometimes I do that when I want to feel fancy but my avocado wasn't ripe yet so eggs and toast it is also is it just me or is everything better when you sit on the floor I like never sit on my couch I don't know what it is but I prefer the floor let me know in the comments if you're the same way also like and subscribe I'm watching that so Raven favorite show as a kid Because we're gonna be at the library all day today, I'm gonna pack some snacks. So I'll grab some coffee. Ooh, I almost forgot my vitamins. I've been taking these vitamins every day. Groon sent this to me. It's not sponsored, but I've been taking them every day and I really enjoy them. There's eight little gummy bears in here and they actually taste pretty good. They make taking vitamins fun. So I've been taking these every day. You do need a meal before you eat them because they kind of make you sick, but I like them. All right, that'll do it. Hmm. Should I take matcha or should I take a cold brew with coconut milk? Oat milk, sorry. Hmm. I think with the matcha, we'll take that. Good choice. I got lucky today. I was able to get a study room. The goal is to do a 50-10 Pomodoro. So right now it's 10.35. I think we can study until maybe 3.30 and I'll do 50-10. But instead of doing like the regular Pomodoro or the anime Duro where you study for a certain amount of time and then you watch anime, I think we're gonna do the reading Duro, which I just made up now. So we'll study for 50 minutes and then we'll read for 10 minutes. I'm currently reading The House in the Cerulean Sea and I'm like 60 pages in and it's getting really good. So I really wanna to get to reading, but we also have a lot of work to do. So I'm trying to balance both of these things by using my breaks to study. So right now I'm just going to plan out what I wanna to study today and then we'll get started. Get your study stuff out too. It's not gonna just be me. We're gonna do chapter 12 notes, chapter 12 review, review all notes then do flashcards for at least two to three hours because I feel like I don't have enough vocabulary. Then we'll do kanji practice, I'll speak and then I'll read. And then by then it should be 3.30. So we've got a lot to do. took up most of the time so I feel like I'm going to study one more hour or I'm going to sit outside because it's a little hot in here and after that we'll eat lunch because I'm a little hungry it's almost one o'clock now so I don't know where the time went but we're going to study for one more hour and then I'll eat lunch first we have a 10 minute break and I can read my book I'm only in the very beginning so it hasn't really picked up but I got to the part where he just went to go see the kids that are in the orphanage and he's a little scared <laughs> He seems a lot like uh, Eleanor Oliphant. He's very like closed off, he doesn't have much of a life, but it sounds very promising. So I'm already hooked. I'm only 60 pages in, but I already really like it. It's giving like Studio Gimby vibes, you know what I mean? Before I start reading, let me know what you're currently reading. If you're reading any summary books or if you're reading a mystery thriller, let me know. And if it's a book you think I should read, let me know too, because you know, I'm always down to buy new books. Good news and bad news. Good news is we got a lot of stuff done. Bad news is it's pouring outside so we can't eat outside. And I was really looking forward to that. So now we're in another study room eating lunch. I just saw a sign that says no food, but I'm not gonna tell anybody if you don't. I was able to finish most of chapter 12. Now I'm gonna do a chapter 12 review, but it shouldn't take long because this chapter was all about using like extra words that make you sound more like a native not necessarily fundamental grammar structure. So I think it should go by quickly and then I'll be able to go through flashcards. 
but I feel like the time is going by so fast. It's already 2.15 and I feel like I barely got anything done, but I am really happy with what we did get done. It's not like I wasn't working. I still love coming to this library. It's always so quiet. The staff is really nice, but it is busy today, which is weird because it's a Tuesday and I came here at like 10.30 and it's been busy since I got here. And I'm like, don't y'all have school? Don't y'all have a job? But then it's like, if that's the case, why am I here? So I get it. Lately, I've been trying to do this 75 day challenge where I study every day for at least six hours. And I've been doing it. I'm so far, I'm in like day 11, I believe. And it's been really, really hard, especially with juggling like YouTube and my job. But I've been doing it and I've been seeing huge leaps in my growth. So I'm really excited. My goal for this whole week is to do more flashcards. So within those six hours, I usually break it down with different topics. So like one is speaking, one is reading. But this week, I really want to hone in on flashcards because I feel like I really have a solid understanding of sentence structure and grammar, but I don't have enough words that come readily in my mind. Like I know of them when someone says them, but I can't say them myself. And that's the whole part of speaking. That's the whole point of speaking. If I don't have the words to speak, I'm not going to be able to speak. So I'm really going to focus on expanding my vocabulary and see if that helps me get better with speaking. And then after that, I really want to do more vlogs where I'm speaking in actual Japanese. I think I'm just so scared because like this is someone's native language, you know, like I don't want to make mistakes. And I know that when someone speaks English and it's not their first language, obviously it's not our first reaction to like criticize them for not speaking it correctly. but. For some reason, I get so scared when I'm speaking in Japanese. Even when I speak with my tutor and I see her all the time, like we know each other pretty well at this point, but I still get scared to speak and I like second guess myself. And I think that has been the hardest part of just growing because I, I won't let myself grow. Like I'm scared of making mistakes and I know that you're not supposed to be like that. I just don't know how to get past that. So that's been really frustrating, but I think acknowledging it and trying to move forward and pushing myself out of my comfort zone anyway has really helped me. It's just a really slow process because I'm not naturally wanting to get out of my comfort zone. You know what I mean? If you're also learning a language or you're studying something really hard, what's one thing that you're really struggling trying to get past and how are you trying to fix it? If you don't have an answer yet, maybe I can give you an answer. I'm obviously not all knowledgeable, but maybe I can give you some tips that have helped me so that we can grow together. These pretzels are hitting. This is my favorite snack. I know people think they're dry and bland and they, they kind of are, but honestly, whenever I have a stomach ache or like something's not sitting right with me, pretzels and ginger ale is always my go-to. It just sucks up whatever's going on in there. So naturally, it's become my favorite snack. I'm gonna read while I enjoy my lunch. If you don't have one of these stands, you're missing out. It is so helpful. I can link one in the description box if you need one. All right, I think we're gonna stay one more hour, study for one more hour and then head home because it doesn't look like the rain is gonna let up and I don't wanna go home too late and it'd be pouring outside. So we're gonna study for one more hour, head home, and maybe study a little bit more, I don't know. I feel like I wanna read now. I kinda of wanna just relax. We studied all day, maybe we should just relax. Should we do that, should we do that? Okay, fine, we'll relax, okay? You're such a slacker. what the minute we get back home it stops raining can you believe that the whole time we were at the library well at first it wasn't raining but then the whole time we wanted to go outside then it started raining and now it's not raining anymore what the heck is that about so now i kind of want to take advantage of it not raining and i thought why not walk little milo because it's nice out now so let's change into something cute i've got options okay all thanks to today's sponsor, which is Halera. Let me go get them. Are you guys ready? Now, Halera is an online site where you can buy cute athleisure, such as this. And don't worry, all the skirts have shorts. You love to see it. 
So this is option one to go walk Milo. She's cute, she's cute. I really like the twirly skirt. She's adorable. I think the blue really goes well with my skin tone. It makes the white really pop. <laughs> so this is option one. Go pink. Now option two is getting more like tennis core, which I really like. Again, this skirt has shorts, so you can do whatever you want without any worries. But what I really like the most about this outfit that I picked out is the top because the back is really adorable. Plus, I think the color is really cute. I think blues go really well for me in the summer because I always have a tan. Okay, this is option two. Now we're gonna get the last one. Okay, last but not least, option three. This is my favorite because I love the thumb holes on the top. I'm a sucker for thumb holes. And this skirt is my favorite color. Look at the little bottom. So cute. Also, there are phone pockets for all of the skirts. So that's just amazing. What do we think? I think I'm going to pick this one. But if you're not a skirt kind of gal, that's okay because they also have leggings, like the leggings that I wore this morning, the purple set, which is adorable. So if you want any of these, please use the code here or the link in my bio, and then you can get some too and we can be twins. All right, now let's get our shoes and get the kid and go outside. found a spot where there's no other dogs or people. I'm a little out of breath. We need to work out more. Well, let's go. You make me wanna be with somebody. Doing things that I usually don't. Find my way through the Make the same when I'm on my own. All my friends think I'm with somebody. outside to read in theory is really cute but the bugs are eating me up so <laughs> we're going inside <laughs> all right we are back home i am clean I took a shower. I mean, Milo has not yet, but that is a problem for tomorrow's Kalila, not today. I've been trying to meal prep every day. Ow, every week I mean. And for those who don't know, I am a pescatarian, so I don't eat meat. So this week I meal prepped just rice with like vegetable broth and different types of vegetables. So there's some carrots and celery and onions, I think, and also, peppers and you know I had to put in cayenne pepper so that's what I'm eating it does not look that appetizing but it fills me up and it tastes pretty good so that is what we're eating for dinner I'm also gonna put something on I've been watching spy family besides that's so raven I'm actually not supposed to be watching anything in English right now as I continue to learn Japanese but I kind of cheated this morning so yeah let's not tell anyone I'm gonna watch that while I eat all right we done <laughs> we done finished dinner <laughs> i'm really tired now we finished dinner now it's time to wash my face i want to do my face routine with you guys because you always ask what i do and i do have a method to the madness so first i'm just gonna wash off the makeup and then i'll be right back wait that's kind of part of the routine too right <laughs> So I'll do this with you. I use the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Remover. So I just put a little dab on each part of my face. Also, always wash your hands before you touch your face. 
you have no idea what germs are on your hands. I'm a huge germaphobe, by the way. I always, always, always have hand sanitizer on me. I do not leave the house without hand sanitizer. I think the world is disgusting and I want to stay sanitized. If you think of everything in the world being freshly painted and if you put your hand on anything, of course paint is going to be on your hand. So that's how I think of germs. That's how you need to think of germs so that you may think you only just touched that one door, but that door and all of its germs are now on your hand. So if you go touch your face with those germs, that's why you break out. So keep that in mind in the future if you're acne prone or can't figure out why you're breaking out for some reason, this could be the cause. We're doing this in the living room by the way because the lighting in the bathroom is so bad. Everything looks orange so I felt like this is a little bit better. Not by much because the sun is gone but it's still better than the bathroom. <sighs> yeah, we look crazy enough. Alright, let's wash this off. So we just washed off our makeup, right? Next step is using the micellar water. I use the vitamin C one because I think it does something. Does it actually? I don't know. Use a little cotton pad. Never use a washcloth. It harbors bacteria. Use a cotton swab or your bare hands after you wash them. You want to rub like with a little bit of pressure, but not too much. Get all the crevices and cracks. Don't get your neck. She matters too and behind your ear. Once you're confident that you got a lot of dirt off, which I did, yuck. Then you go in with a cleanser. I always use Cetaphil. Sorry, the battery just died. But like I was saying, I use Cetaphil as my face wash. <laughs> this has to be so weird if you're not actually like taking notes. <laughs> but I'm doing it for the girlies that asked. I used to have really, really bad acne, like really bad. Here, I'll insert a picture. And this system has helped me. So I can't say that it will help you. I'm just saying this is what worked for me. And hopefully you can find a few products in this regimen that work for you too. All right, when it's tacky and you feel like you've scrubbed everything, then go wash it off. So I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, once you're done washing your face with your hands, not with a washcloth, I pat dry with a paper towel. And I kind of air it out a little bit. And then I use the sandwich method and I use this cream skin toner by Laneige. Laneige? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I use this. This is like my fourth bottle, it's so good. I just pour a little bit in my hand like this. You wanna give yourself a good smacking. I don't know why. This Korean dermatologist that I watch, she said to do this and I've seen a difference, so I just, now this is what I do. Just do it until you feel like your face is damp and not wet anymore. Again, don't forget your neck. Once that's done, now I do like skin cycling, so one day I'll use retinol, another day I'll use a chemical exfoliant, I use the Paula's Choice one, and then the next day I don't use any kind of chemical, and I just use my regular moisturizing products. So today is a retinol day, so I use the Paula's Choice 1% Retinol Treatment after that cream toner. So I put like three or four pumps of this, and then I put a dot on every spot of my face, like so. You want to wait at least 10 seconds between each step so that each product has a chance to like marinate into your skin. I'm kind of rushing tonight because I'm tired, but usually I wait a little bit longer than this. Then I just connect the dots like that. And because retinol is a strong chemical, that's why we do the sandwiching. So I used a cream toner first and then retinol. And now I'm gonna use this snail mucin power essence. <laughs> this is my third bottle. It's so good. I'm literally at the bottom of it, but I already bought another one. And I just pump three little squirts on the back of my hand like that. And then again, each corner of my face gets a little sum sum. And that way your skin isn't irritated by the strong chemical in the retinol. But you still get the benefits of it. A win-win situation. We're almost done guys, don't worry. Now you let this step marinate a little bit. Then you wanna use a moisturizer. I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. 
It's a little bit expensive, but it really, really works. I feel like I saw a really big difference because of this thick moisturizer. Essentially, when you go to bed, you wanna look like a donut. My daytime skin routine is not this thorough, but my nighttime one really is because you have the entire night to let all these products soak in. So you might as well take advantage of them. So this is a very thick cream, and I put about that much on my middle finger. And again, each portion of your face gets a little sum sum. Put a little too much here as well as your neck and just connect the dots. So because I use a retinol tonight, tomorrow night, I just won't use any chemical. And then the next night I'll use a chemical exfoliant and then so on and so forth. And that's just how I rotate every three days. And the results are pretty good. Now, after the moisturizer, I seal in everything with an oil. I use the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I've been using this since freshman year of college and it is amazing. I feel like this, is the powerful, all being, all seeing product <laughs> in my nighttime skincare routine. It's so freaking good. I don't know what's in it, a bunch of essential oils, but it works really, really well. Again, it is a little bit on the pricier side, but because I used to have such bad acne, I just invested in a really good skincare routine. So this is what works for me. Again, I'm not saying you need to get it. I'm just saying this is what works for me. You just put one squirt in your hand like this and give a little love to each part of your face. And I love the smell of this thing. You don't want to rub too hard now because you don't want to mess up the other layers. It is a process folks, I know, but it really works. Now I just put on an eye cream. I use the Kiehl's Avocado Creamy Eye Treatment. I'm literally out. <laughs> I'm scraping dreams <laughs> off the sides of these corners, okay? I really need to order another one. But I've been making it work the last few days. That's how good it is. And I'm not sponsored. It's just that good. Kilt should sponsor me though. Somebody let them know. I then use a lip mask every night. I use the one that everyone used to talk about. It's so good, but I haven't brushed my teeth yet, so I'm not gonna put this on. I'm gonna go brush my teeth and then I'll put this on. But that is my skincare routine. This is what has helped me go from crazy looking to pretty decent now. Yes, you look like a glazed donut at night, but it's not that bad because in the morning you'll wake up with glowing and refreshing skin. At least that's how it has been for me. And I hope these products help you. All right, I'll be right back. All right, oh, my teeth are brushed. Lip mask is on. Now I try to journal every night. So we're gonna journal for five minutes. I just like to reflect on the day, see what I did well, what I could improve on, and what I'm proud of myself for. And doing small things like that has really made me feel more grateful and really see the progress that I'm making and becoming a better version of myself. So I encourage you to journal before going to bed too. My goal in the future is to be able to journal in English and in Japanese every day, but we haven't gotten there yet. I've only been journaling in English for the past few weeks, but here and there I'll journal in Japanese. <sighs> Finally, I'm so tired. <sighs> every night before I go to bed, I try to read for at least 30 minutes. It'll probably be like 15 tonight. Once I'm done journaling, I get all snuggled up in bed. There's nothing better than clean sheets and I just cleaned my sheets, so I'm really happy. And I try to read for at least 15 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, but today I think it's gonna be 15. I feel like we did so good today. I'm so proud of us. I hope that this has also motivated you to be productive and get things done and push yourself to be a little bit better every day too. Hey Google, turn off all the lights. Sure, turning 10 lights off. Sorry, it looks like two lights aren't available right now. She's so extra. <laughs>